And for more on this key AFC North game, let's now welcome in CBS Sports Another commentator and Super Bowl champion quarterback Trent Green, who was on that game in Maryland. A statement game here from the Bengals. Trent, what's your biggest takeaway from this one? Well, I, th I think the biggest takeaway was just the difference in the second half compared to the first half. It was really a defensive battle back and forth. It was 3-3-3, three, 10-10, three, 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 uh, and, and then all of a sudden 13-10 right at the halftime. And then you come out in the second half, and you're thinking, okay, they're going to make their adjustments at halftime. Baltimore goes three plays, and then you guys just mentioned the, the touchdown pass to Marquise Brown where he got it right before he went out of the back of the end zone. And so, okay, 17-13. This is going to – then next thing you know, Cincinnati just turns it on so that's that's probably the biggest takeaway for me is the way that Cincinnati was able to respond after that opening second half touchdown by the Baltimore Ravens they didn't waver at all they came back aggressive got on the board on their own touchdown and then just continued to pour it on throughout the rest of the day it uh, another thing that jumped out to me is the fact over 500 yards of offense they had against the Ravens defense that a week ago held the Los Angeles Chargers to just 208 yards of offense. So it, uh, it, was a, it was an onslaught there in the second half. Yeah, quite a turnaround for the Bengals. Dude, the last time they played the Ravens, the Ravens rushed for over 400 yards on them. And you said after that early second half touchdown, then they outscored the Ravens 28-7 to the rest of the way. Have to ask you about Jamar Chase, Trent. Another unbelievable outing from the rookie. How impressive <laughs> is Chase watching him play in person? Well, it really is. It, it is impressive. And just to see that the, the connection, you think there's a natural connection just because he and Joe Burrow played together in college, but how quickly they've adapted. Uh, they picked up right where they left off after the, a, a year apart from each other. And he really didn't have much going on until the final two minutes of the half. He's been outstanding. He leads the league in a number of categories in the final two minutes of the first half. And and prior to that time frame, he only had one catch. They, they Mar, uh, Marlon Humphrey had been doing a good job of shutting him down. But he had three catches in that final drive in the final two minutes to go down and, and ultimately get the field goal uh, before halftime. And then the second half, it was just it just going on and on. And uh, the long touchdown run, which I know you guys just showed, it was just quick slant, broke three tackles, spun out of it. And then there was no way Justin Houston was going to catch him in a foot race to the end zone. So it was a pretty phenomenal day for Jamar Chase and just the connection those two have over 200 yards for him on the day. Trent, we love talking about offense, but we got to talk about this Bengals defense. I mean, we mentioned before <laughs> the Ravens rushing for 400 yep. yards against them. That did not happen today. What about this Bengals defense? You know, it's a whole new attitude on that side of the football. And, and we, we talked about it during the broadcast, the amount of money that they've spent, over $200 million they've spent the last two years in free agency bringing in new pieces to the puzzle and, and, and the chemistry that is on that side of the ball. Hendrickson came over from the Saints. He he led the Saints in, in sacks a year ago, and uh, he's doing the same thing here. Sam Hubbard is, has been with the Bengals, but just now having those bookends. Uh, Reader is the guy they brought in a year ago. Von Bell, a guy they brought in a year ago. Ago. Logan Wilson, a guy they drafted two years ago uh, at linebacker. I mean, they've, they've got these pieces uh, that are just all fitting in really well, and the chemistry is outstanding on that side of the ball. And and uh, they, they told us, you know what, when we met them yesterday, they said, listen, we're, we're believing this. There's a new attitude. It's a new chemistry. It's a new team. It's a new Cincinnati Bengals. We don't care about the five-game losing streak to the Baltimore Ravens. We're coming in here with the attitude that we're going to try and win, or we're expecting to win this football game, and that's exactly what they did. They didn't waver at all, all day. And now they're top of the division. He is CBS Sports color commentator and Super Bowl champion Trent Green. Thanks for hopping on to HQ with us, Trent. All right, appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Got to talk about Jamar Chase and what he has done. The most receiving yards in his first seven career games, 754. Coming into the game, he was trailing Anquan Bolden. Not anymore. He now surpasses Anquan Bolden by over 100 yards. He's the first player since the merger to have 50-plus receiving yards in his first seven games. He's the only player that has done that. CeeDee Lamb did it in six, but Chase passes him today with over 200 yards receiving. Well, Joe, congratulations on an incredible win to take over first place in the AFC North. You guys come on the road and dominate the Ravens in their own building. Tyler Boyd said this week, it's time to flip the script and take over the throne. Safe to say you guys did that today. How'd you do it? You know, we had guys that went out there and made plays. Yeah. You know, when you play the Ravens, they're going to put you in a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups, so you just have to go win. You just got to be a football player, and that, it comes down to that, and our guys really did today. So that's exciting. 
you know, we're going to see them later in the year. I know they're going to be ready for us, but uh, it was a fun day. Yeah, over 500 yards of total offense, over 400 yards for you, a career high. Jamar Chase sets a record for a rookie through seven games in receiving yards. What was working so well through the air today? They tried to make you one-dimensional. I mean, we just have so many weapons on the outside that, you know, it's really tough to take away one of our guys. If you, you know, if you cheat to Jamar's side, we got T. And if, yeah. you know, you want to cloud the outside, then you got, you got Tyler working the middle. So, and then CJ's really coming off the injury and playing really, really well. So, you know, when, when we have those guys, it's tough to defend. Yeah, great day for him on National Tedens Day. You, you mentioned the defense, five sacks for them. How clutch has that unit been through seven games? I mean, those guys are awesome. You know, Lou really has them playing well. And, you know, they're being more physical up front. And I, I know that was an emphasis coming in. And, and they really become one of the best defenses in, in, the, in the league. They're really fun to watch. Those guys up front are getting after it. And, you know, we got the guys on the back end to cover. So, you know, we're, we're becoming a complete team. We're going to keep getting better and better. But it, it, was, it was a good day, good stepping stone in the right direction. You know, you guys have the Jets next week. But what does a win like this mean for this team? It means we're in first place. You know, we're 5-2. and two. Five and two sounds a lot better than four and three. You know, we still got to play the Browns twice. We got the Steelers again. We got the Ravens again. Um, so we still got our work cut out for us. We got one of the hardest schedules, you know, the rest of the season. So, you know, we're just going to go back to practice, keep getting better and better, and, you know, enjoy this one tonight. Now, he mentioned they've got the Jets next and then the Cleveland Browns before they get the bye in week 10. And from a fantasy perspective today, Jamie, uh, some pretty good performances in this game. Unbelievable. Uh, I didn't expect Joe Burrow to play well. Uh, he, he certainly proved me wrong. 32 fantasy points, over 400 yards passing like we saw. Uh, Jamar Chase, you weren't going to sit him, but I didn't think he was going to be a top 10 fantasy receiver. Another wrong call by me, but uh, he's just awesome. It's just unbelievable to watch this kid play. And the funny thing is, uh, Pete, I, I remember going back to the Super Bowl. We had Justin Jefferson on with us uh, on, on the set uh, via Zoom. And I asked him, who's going to be the best rookie wide receiver? Your teammate, Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith at the time, who had just won the Heisman. He said he was friends with both, but he's going to go with this guy. Jamar Chase is going to have a better rookie season than Justin Jefferson had last year. That's how good of a pace he's on right now, and Jefferson was a monster. Jamar Chase is a star. I wonder why LSU won the national championship. Joe Burrow throwing <laughs> to those guys? I mean, come on. 34 fantasy points for Jamar Chase. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.